I think when anybody hears about a new infectious disease, it's always scary, especially when we don't know everything about it. The coronavirus continues to infect people, the latest U.S. case happening in California. Although this individual tested positive without traveling to affected areas, U Arizona Pharmacology and Toxicology Assistant Professor June Wayne says some patients may not know they're carrying the virus. The patient from California might get the virus from someone who does not show symptoms. Wang says the coronavirus and the flu have similar symptoms. The only way to tell whether the person has flu infection or coronavirus infection is through genetic testing. Currently, the CDC is the only organization cleared to administer testing. However, the Arizona Department of Health Services is trying to change that. And we're working on getting um, testing capacity here in Arizona um, so that we can test it without setting, setting it for the CDC to test. Earlier this week, President Donald Trump spoke to the American public about the coronavirus threat. The risk to the American people remains very low. I don't think I will agree with what he said, I think the best practice is to prepare for the worst because there's nothing to lose. I think we have to learn the lesson from what happens in China. Ironically, Wang says the brutal heat that comes with the summer months that affect most of Arizona are actually a good thing. We are approaching summer. It's dry and hot in Arizona, and those are doing us a favor. Viruses don't like those dry, hot weather. So, Dry hot weather will help minimize the virus spreading in, in Arizona.